So now we'll go with another topic for your heat transfer. And this is all about convection. So by definition, convection is the mechanism of heat transfer whereby heat energy is transferred by moving fluids. Hindi naman pwedeng ang transfer mo is from non-moving liquids lang. So sa ating uh, profession as mechanical engineer, sabi ko nga, mahalaga ang heat transfer lalo na sa piping systems and fluid systems. Bakit po? Kasi naapektuhan yan yung condition ng fluid kapag tinatransport. Hindi naman yan, ang fluid mo, hindi, na, hindi yan nag stay sa state niya throughout the transport dun sa ating uh, pipings. Kailangan kinukondisyon din natin yan para ma-maintain natin yung kanyang optimal conditions or original condition. So, convection. Sabi nga dito, it is the transfer of heat by moving fluids. So, kung wari, meron kang radiator sa mga sakyan mo. Yung fluid mo doon, hindi stagnant yon, Okay? Yung fluid noon sa radiator mo, sinasak out yan papunta ng engine mo. Papunta doon sa mga engine or water jackets niya. Ang tawag doon is yung cooling system ng engine mo. Yung tubig na pumapasok doon sa maliliit na holes ng engine mo that is in contact with doon sa iyong cylinder, yung water jacket sa engines mo. Ang nangyayari, imimix up ng coolant tsaka ng water. Pag nag-mix up sila doon, yung coolant na yun, mayroong mababang specific heat yun. absorb niya yung lahat ng heat. Okay? And then yung pump, isi-circulate yung tubig na yun pabalik ng radiator. Hanggang sa yung heat noon is taken out by the air that is moving. Ganun ang convection. Okay? So, the most important dimensionless group in the analysis of heat convection are the following. The Reynolds number, it determines if the fluid is laminar or turbulent inflow. The Prandtl number, a dimensionless number, papakita ko sa inyo yung Prandtl equation kapag uh, lumaon-laon tayo, hahanap ako ng mga problem yan. The Nusselt number and the Grasshoff number. So, itong mga ito is very uh, rare kung lalabas yan ng mga questions. But, the calculation is very easy because they have uh, specific equations with each other. Okay? Now, for the convective heat transfer okay, with known specific heat, ang pinafocus lang naman natin dito ay yung constant volume heat addition and then constant pressure heat addition processes. Going back with your thermodynamics, that is the heat transfer that happens with the constant pressure process or the isobaric process and a constant heat addition or rejection at a process of constant volume or isovolumic or isometric process. Ayan yan. And for the surface convection, not convection, that is equal to Q equal to H A delta T where H is the film coefficient of the surface, and A is the area of the flow of heat, and then delta T is the change in temperature. The same with Q is equal to MCP delta T or MCV delta T, where CV and CP are the specific heat constants at processes of constant volume and constant pressure. Okay? Meron din tayo mga shortcut dyan. Kapag SI units and English units. And what better way para maintindihan natin siya is to solve different problems about it. Okay? So let us go with problem number one. So let us go with this one.
So let us go with problem number one. The problem goes like this. A brine enters a cooler at the rate of 50 cubic meters per hour. So meron ang rate dyan. Okay? Volumetric rate na 50 cubic meter per hour. At 15 degrees Celsius and lives at 1 degree Celsius. So, meron ang T hot na 15 degrees Celsius and then T low na 1 degree Celsius. The specific heat and specific gravity of brine are Sg. 1.1 point, 1 .1 yun sa brine. And Cp is 1.07 kilojoule per kilogram degree Kelvin. Calculate the heat transferred in kilowatts. Going back to convective heat, transfer the equation is equal to Q is equal to MCP delta T. Okay? For the heat transfer, that is equal to Q M C P delta T. Sir, problema natin, wala tayong M. Don't worry. Going back with your thermodynamics and fluid dynamics or fluid mechanics, Diba M is simply a part of your density where density is equal to the ratio between the volume and then the mass. Tama? And as you can see, M is equal to density times volume. But this is the density of the fluid and the volume of the fluid. Might be the volume flow rate para maging mass flow rate. Okay? And when we're talking about the density of the fluid, as you can see, the density of the fluid is simply equal to what? Hindi natin alam. O, recall nyo ulit. Sg of a specific fluid is equal to the ratio between the density of the fluid and the relative density. Ano yung relative density? That is the density of water. Yon. O, Ngayon, the SG of the fluid is the density or the ratio of the densities of the fluid itself and the relative density, which is water. Oh, bibigyan ko kayo ng another constant. Water, at normal conditions, the density is simply equal to 1,000 kilogram per cubic meter. But, lo and behold, this is also equal to 62.4 pound per cubic foot. And again, ang pinakamadali, okay, if flow ang pinag-uusapan natin, where liter is verily used, that is equal to 1 kilogram in every liter. Totoo yan. Now, let us see. We are asked to find the heat transfer in kilowatts. Given yung SG natin, oh, simply, ganito yan. Q is equal to Yung M, palitan natin ng SG of the fluid multiplied to the density of the water at normal conditions multiplied to the CP nung substance or the fluid multiplied to delta T. Very basic. Okay? O, dire-diretso lang po ang ating pag-solve. And this is another formula. Okay? Anong kulang dyan, sir? Yung volume flow rate. Kulang dyan yung volume flow rate. Yan. Purayin ko lang to. The volume flow rate, Cp delta T. Ayan. So, we can now solve for the heat transfer. Q. Ano yung SG ng brine? 1.1. Ano yung density ng water? Naka-mute meter cube. Di 1,000 kilogram per cubic meter. Saan pa? Yung velos, ah, velocity tuloy. Volume flow rate, 50 cubic meter per hour. O, ang problema mo dito, ito, hour. O, di multiply mo na agad ng 1 hour in every 3,600 seconds. CP, 1.01 1.07 ata, 1.07, hindi ako nagkaamali. Ayan, kilojoule per kilogram degree Kelvin. And then the change in temperature from 15 to 1 degree Celsius. So, 
Celsius degree na lang yung pag-change in temperature. Celsius degree. Ay, we cancel all the same units. Cancel natin si kilogram. Kilogram. Meter cube. Meter cube. Si hour. Hour. Kilo. Uh, Kelvin. Celsius degree is Kelvin din. Change in temperature yan. Eh. So, ang natira is seconds and kilojoule. So, kilojoule in every second is equal to kilowatts. Okay? Let us calculate the value. May nakaharang dito. Kaya pala maliit. Let us lasso this one. Para madelete natin. Ayan. So, didelete ko lang dahil obstruction siya dyan. Mahaba yung solution. Yung sa akin, may kli lang. Ayan. Okay na. So, we can now solve for the value. Ayan. 1.1 times 1.07 times 50 divided by 3,600. Tapos times, nandito, 15 minus 1 dahil bali 14. The answer is, kilojoule, kilogram. Hindi ko pa na-multiply ng 1,000. The answer is 228.8611. Q is 228.8611 kilowatts of heat transferred. Doon sa brine solution. Okay, so problem number 2. Let us go with problem number 2. A hot air heating system, hot air to ah, hot air heating system. The surface heats air from 60, so T initial, 60 degrees Fahrenheit. T final is, lakayan natin, is 160 degrees Celsius. A Fahrenheit din. If air is then circulated at a rate of 330 cubic foot per minute, Cubic, ah, cubic foot CFM. So B, three hundred thirty cubic foot per minute. How much thermal energy is transferred per hour? Note the specific heat of air at constant pressure is zero point zero five CP, zero point twenty five BTU per pound degree run kain. O degree Fahrenheit, pareho lang yan. Pero kapag hindi sinabi dyan, CP of air as constant, ha? that is equal to 0.24 BTU per hour. Ah, BTU per hour. BTU per pound degree run kain. Kapag naman SI units, that is equal to 1.0062 kilojoule per kilogram degree Kelvin. Kapag naman sinabing CV of air, constant volume. That is equal to 0.171 BTU per pound degree Rankine. And this is equal to 0.7186 kilojoule per kilogram degree Kelvin if that is in SI units. Pero dito binigay niya. Okay? The density of air daw. Oh, binigay niya dito. Density of air. That is 0.0881. 0.806 pound per cubic foot. As is na yan, pwede na yan. Pero kapag naman, constant air, SI units, 1.2 kilogram per cubic meter. Tandaan nyo itong mga constant sa ito ha. Ilang minimemorize siya. Hindi yan kasi sinasabi sa mga board exam. So, let us go again with the Convective heat transfer. That is Q equal to M C P delta T. The problem is you don't have M, but you have density. Okay. So, ang mass ng air that is equal to density. Hindi na natin kailangan ng SG. 
Okay? Density of air, volume of air. Yan na yung mass flow rate. Okay? Multiplied to Cp, delta T. Now, Q is equal to density of air, 0.0806 pound per feet cube. Multiplied to volume of air, 330 cubic foot per minute. Tapos, i-multiply mo ng CP ng air. Ang binigay sa'yo dyan is 0.25 BTU per pound degree Rankine. Ang alam ko, ang kinukuha dito is in HP. Okay? Okay. CP delta T. Ang delta T mo is from 160 to 60 degrees Fahrenheit. 160 minus 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Or the Fahrenheit degrees kasi change in temperature. We cancel all the same units. Feet cube, feet cube, pound, pound, degree run kind, Fahrenheit degrees. So, ang natira is BTU per minute. Ang conversion factor ng BTU per minute As we can recall, 1 HP per 42.4 BTU per minute. So we cancel all the same units again, yung BTU na tanggal, tsaka yung minute, BTU per minute tanggal. Ang lalabas na lang is HP. So the convective heat transfer of air is 0.0806 times 330 times 0.25 times 100 divided by 42.4. So, the answer in HP will be 15.683 HP. Q is equal to 15.863 HP. Okay, that is for conviction. Problems 1 to 2. And let us take a five-minute break before I proceed again with different problems. More problems to come.